this here. Um, that fungal growth deals a hefty amount of damage to the roach, to the hydralisk ball. So, um, oh, and actually, Nerizim does just spot the expansion of Smiggins by sending a couple of zerglings there. And he is going to be sending another six zerglings to go check that out, but he will be meet, met by, I don't know, he's going to the tower actually. So right now each player owns one tower, uh, so they can pretty much see the whole army that moves across. And, and we will actually see this little push coming from, uh, from Narizan. Smiggins is one up on the upgrades. He does have two two, and Nerzim has two one. With no other, with nothing in production either. Um, let's see the unit count quick before this engagement. We do have 50, fifty-eight drones to thirty-five drones, fourteen hydralis, forty roaches against fifty-four roaches and three infestors. And here's the engagement right now. Uh, nice fungal growth by Smiggin, uh by Nerzim. Uh, Pretty straight line of units here. A little bit of a more concave advantage from Narizim. He's going to probably take this battle here. The infested Terran getting spawned out. Those roaches are falling down. And it actually looks like it's going to end up in Narizim's Smiggins' favor. Yeah, um, Smiggins actually takes it quite convincingly. Yeah, I mean, it, it, he had a nice. Well, you know what it was? Those Hydralists were in the middle of the pack, so they were dealing the brunt of the damage to those middle roaches. And once those middle roaches started to fall, it was just, uh, that was pretty much it. Uh, if I was Smiggins right now, I would try and push up and take out those infestors, but he doesn't, I guess he, his roaches were a little bit weak, so he's going to borrow them, heal them up, and, um, he does replenish his count. He's 32 roaches now, uh, against 15 roaches and 3 infestors. Uh, plus 2 armor going down for Narizim. Another hatchery from Smiggins at the south base's third. Um, another ten roaches in production as well. Uh, Smiggins' economy is just booming right now. He's at 17, 1,600 minerals, 500 gas with 58 harvesters. Um, so he's he's got a pretty heavy income right now. Um, probably see him take the two gases at his third expansion there just to get some extra gas there. Right now he, is, he isn't starving for gas. He's actually has more gas than minerals right now. So he'll probably want to make a little bit more hydras, which he has five hydras in the production. Um, it does look like Smiggins is preparing for an attack right now. Um, and Nerizim is pretty behind. He's going to get that plus two upgrade before this attack comes, most likely. Um, but Smiggins is going to want to try and push out now and pop, probably tech up to Lair. Um, hive very soon, um, just to be able to get that other advantage. Yeah, so there goes the infestation pit. Yep. I saw him click on his evolution chamber to get some upgrades, and then right short after his um, his infestation pit went down. <laughs> so he is dancing around for that changeling, trying to figure out how to attack it, and there he does kill it off. <laughs> And, yep, and then Smiggins fourth is up now yep. with the queen already at it. So you'll see him probably put out one wave of drones to go over there. Actually, he could just take all the drones from his natural. Oh, there's only five actually. Uh, I'm sorry, from his main. I meant to say. Um, he is fully saturated at his natural. He is pretty much fully saturated at his main, at his third, and his main has five drones at it. Uh, so here looks like we're gonna have an engagement here. Smiggins has his. Cru uh, Overseer, and that's a nice fungal growth. I think he's going to want to try and micro those back units around and try and get a better surround here. Um, let those hydralis get a little far forward to push up into this attack here. And those roaches are falling down. He takes out one infester. Those infestors do not have any more energy left. There's an energy, almost energy enough for one fungal growth, but actually the one that had the energy was actually taken out. And these roaches are going to push up, take out these roaches here. And if he pushes into the main, into the natural, I think this may be it for Nerizim. Uh, so maybe just need to take out these extra alt infestors here and just go ahead and take out the rest. Um, one last fungal growth there from Nerizim, almost killing out one of those roaches. I should listen with one health, now at three. <laughs> and actually, look at those roaches, just walking over those burrowed roaches. And he 
does manage to take out those extra roaches, and Hive is about halfway done, and it seems like this is going to be it, and uh, that will be the GG, GG from Arizona. And there we go, Smiggins taking down the Replay first saved. win of match number four. And I think that all came down to that um, failed two-pronged attack. He um, was able to get the advantage and get his hatchery down all. Two or three minutes at a time. Um, had increased production and then just was able to macro up, even though he had basically his whole army countered, or should have been, from the um, Infestor play.